Yeah, I, I, I truly believe that. that that's <laughs> She's not where, yours, it's that, just your time. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah, I truly believe that's that's where we are um, in this day and age. And that's only because everybody is just like, they, they, don't, they don't know how to, they don't have no problem solving skills. Everything is straight to 100. Mm -hmm. It's never, well, let's figure this out. Because if my grandparents would have took that mindset, my grandfather got rid of my grandma a long time ago. <laughs> my grandma, <laughs> like, you would just be like, girl, why? Yeah. Like, why did you say that? My grandpa would just be like, oh, that's just her. But mm. the love and respect that he had for her, you know, and then she knew what lines to not cross. So, yeah. you know, it's that there. They, nowadays, everybody say what they want to each other. They don't care about each other's feelings. And so, Being, um, you know, in the industry and being around how do you balance knowing that it's a possibility for you to get like proposition to do things or anything like that or like how do you balance that like how how is that a thing or is that just something that just come with it and you just you know you just expect for that to happen yeah it, i i expect it to happen at certain levels and were you ever surprised no really never no no, because I mean, I've seen it. You know, my my dad was also in the music industry. Really? Yeah. Yep. My dad got on just by winning the Apollo. Mm. And this was in the '90s, and yeah, so he, you know, got on and was doing a whole lot of stuff. And um, yeah, so I I seen it, and I seen what it does with men. And uh, like I said, my mom was a. What do you mean? Thing. What it does with men? Like what it what it you know, Mika's young be, man. being safe now, y'all. No, I'm not being safe. I, it's what it does with a lot of y'all is if you never had that type of attention, mm. if you never had that type of money, uh, if you never had that just that being around those type of people, you can get caught up in all that, yeah. the lifestyle, the drugs. I mean, all that type of stuff. So, at the end of the day, yeah. I expected it because I knew about it already. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised that you still went down the path, though. Yeah, because I love entertainment. Like, yeah. I'm a trained dancer. Yeah. Like, trained. Yeah. Um, and I love singing. I've been singing since I was a child. I write music. I like, you know, talking to different people, learning about stuff. So, like, that's my, that's what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. and everything got a pro and a con. Mm. And that means you're going to be around the majority of people that's going to get at you is going to be from the industry. Yes. I that's just, the trade off. I just be dodging. You can't it. be regular no more, Mika. Somebody else said that too. Because, you know I mean, what? you, you, you gotta, can't you can't do it. No. Because think about it. Yeah. Or do you worry? All right, so let me revise this. Okay. Do you worry about because you've seen it either you know either from your father growing up and then all of the different types of guys that then reached out to you with stuff like that do you worry about the fact that you don't know what normal is anymore because you disconnected maybe yeah i can see that um i even you know i even get people saying that it just in regular life like i talk to women all the time like hey let's you know do this be more like this and da, da, da. oh it's different from it's different for you you grew up a different way so yeah I, I can see like once you're in a certain lifestyle and certain area you can be disconnected from it so yeah i but can agree even with relationships even with relationships i can agree so now do you think that that's normal for most women though no because because most women most women, um, I think their expectations for what a man is supposed to do while they dating around is different, I think, than what most most relationships are once they settle down. Yeah, and uh, it's the whole dating thing. I, I don't even know what that is anymore because the the whole cheesecake thing took me out. Why? <laughs> it took me out because everybody's like, oh, But you, you used to getting proposition to go to places and doing things that's way above that, though. 
I think you're trying to be modest. Are you trying to? I don't know. You trying to? I I I kind of feel like I'm a relationship elitist. (laughs) (laughs) But because I think that I think that you're trying to be modest because um, do you think you're disconnected from what? From what normal is for most for most people for most women. Because no. most women is out here struggling. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, so from that part, I'm I'm probably disconnected on that part, um, because uh, yeah, I, I'm not struggling. And then most women also tell me that their DMs ain't really getting popping like that either. I refuse to believe that. And most women I tell know, me. I, I they know. They say in time my DMs no. is dry. Who said that? They're lying. They say they DMs. It don't is matter dry. if it don't matter if she two pounds or two hundred. But Mika, I, you seen can't. It. You can't. Have y'all seen Mika's uh, Instagram? <laughs> that junk is crazy. I've seen it. It's no way. My brother. Uh, I was talking to my bro uh, yesterday. And I said, yeah, I got to make sure that uh, um, my homegirl coming in. He was like, who? I said, Mika. He said, let me see her uh, Let me see her Instagram. And so I showed him. He was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, bro, I might have to come down there and uh, watch that interview. Oh. I said, no, nah, you go ahead and keep it, keep it focused. See. So what you, hmm. you can't relate. That's what I'm saying. You might be disconnected. Yeah, I, I I guess I'm trying to continue my my nice little humble lifestyle. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm still trying to be you know country Mika and the big celebrity. Everything is everything world. What about um, dating outside of the United States of America? Because that's a conversation that's not really. Mm-hmm. Um, talked about I guess a lot from women like they don't they don't compare openly and contrast or maybe a lot of them haven't experienced it but they don't compare and contrast what men are like outside of the U.S. versus inside of the U.S. have you noticed the difference in how men are how they Mm -hmm. treat you what they do and stuff like that what's the difference if you had to guess um the difference is what, so like what a lot of these women in America complain about, oh, take me here, take me there. The men outside the U.S., they they will do that, right? They're, but they're going to expect mm-hmm. that you be a woman. So they're going to do everything, you know, you think a man should do. But it's not just they're going to do it. Yeah. And then they get nothing in return. Mm-hmm. Right. Like they're expecting you to act a certain way. They're expecting, you know, you to carry yourself a certain way. All this. Well, I I don't you know, I don't have to do, you know, this or I don't have to call you. or I don't have to like they're not going to they're not going to stay on a tech stream for months. Yeah. They're not doing all that. Do you think that coming back to the United States, do you think that um it seemed like everybody, I don't even think that there's a such thing as side chicks or side dudes anymore. I just think that it's just normalized. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think that that. When there's I a lot s- of dudes that are willing to be the other guy. Really? Yes. Tell me about that. There's a lot of dudes that are willing to be the other guy. <laughs> and I'm not talking about like, I'm not talking about like, oh, you know, just hit me up when you want to know like you you can actually be in a full-fledged relationship but that's that kind of goes into what i was saying earlier though yeah 